The biggest failing of movies like Replicas is that they take a story and focus on the aspect of it that is the least interesting or more commonly followed through, instead of a much more interesting tale hidden inside. There's an amazing mind-bending psychological horror film hidden in Replicas that is desperately trying to get out, but is overshadowed by a poor copy of Frankenstein crossed with the dumb action of I, Frankenstein. I do need to give some spoilers to support that, though, so here they are. Replicas is about a scientist whose family dies, and then he clones them and scans their corpse brains so he can recreate the family he remembers. Now that's all pretty standard for a movie like that, but here's where it gets tricky. There aren't enough cloning pods to clone his whole family, so Will decides that the best course of action is to use his brain transferring device to carefully remove the memories of the dead child so no one will remember her and have any uncomfortable questions. This concept of, I have a device that gives me access to every thought you've ever had, and also I can manipulate them at will, is one of the most frightening ideas I have ever heard, and this concept is completely underutilized. To explain a bit better, the entire payoff of the, Will alters everyone's memories for their own benefit, I swear, plotline is so that Will and Mona, his wife, can have a teary confession from Will about why he did what he did followed by Mona completely understanding and having no real issues with what Will did. That scene is baffling for so many reasons, but what really gets me about it is that this movie that's trying to be a dark thriller would have been much more intense, scary, and emotionally engaging if instead of Will being the main character, Mona was. Will being the protagonist completely derails any real tension replicas could have had, turning the story into a comedy of errors about a guy trying to trick his family into thinking they aren't clones. They deftly avoided making what could have been a mind-bending thriller about Mona or their children trying to figure out what had happened as they notice weird things that don't add up, like suddenly having poor motor skills, mysterious pains, and nightmares because they remember their own death. All those details could have been clues that helped Mona work backward and piece together what happened instead of them being nothing. This was such a missed opportunity, not just for a potentially good horror movie, but also for a film that could have been about something important, the phenomenon known as gaslighting. Now, I'm no expert, so I'll just give a nice copy-paste definition here. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation that seeks to sow seeds of doubt in a targeted individual or in members of a targeted group, making them question their own memory, perception, and sanity. Special thanks to Wikipedia. This sounds eerily similar to what Will is doing to his family, altering their memories in order to make things easier, mostly for himself, but he convinces himself that what he's doing is in everyone's best interest. It's such an apt comparison that if they had chosen to go this route, replicas could have been a thesis statement on the very real dangers of gaslighting and shown that through the relationship between Mona and Will. The only problem is this would be a significantly darker film that would feature a much more morally or ethically compromised Will. I'm fine with that though, as I already don't see Will as a particularly ethical person, but I'm not certain Keanu Reeves, who's also a producer of replicas, would be as up for that. Playing an abusive mad scientist may not have been in Reeves' best interest, considering his typical casting as a world-saving hero, and audiences may have been alienated by the stark contrast between wholesome kung fu Jesus Keanu Reeves and psychologically abusive mad scientist Keanu Reeves. It's a shame, though, because Keanu Reeves' creepy performance in Neon Demon shows he can do weird and off-putting should the role call for it. That version of the film would have been pretty risky, but seeing as how Replicas is performing right now, Maybe they should have taken the risk. Hey, thanks for listening to me talk about a movie that everyone's already forgotten about. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be working on some videos for topics that are a little more timeless, so stay tuned for that. So again, thank you for watching the video, and I'll hopefully be coming out with uh, more videos soon. So, stick around.